guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Bookshelves and Beyond. We have... I'm out of breath. That's what we have. It's warm. 23 degrees but in my flat means about 30 because the insulation of this place is crazy. And I have decided that today is the day that I start to decorate for autumn. Now this is a process that will probably take me more than one day. It will because I don't want to do it all, to all today, excuse me. God, I'm all out about the place. I don't want to do it all today. I want to probably do it throughout the week in my evenings. I will be in different shapes and forms throughout this video, but don't worry. But yeah, I so thought I'm going to start decorating now. I'm going to just decorate for autumn. So I've decided my Halloween stuff I will put out at the beginning of October and then we'll have a month of that but I will accumulate the two so I'm gonna put out autumn now have them out until the end of September beginning of October probably about yeah beginning of October so it's a month until Halloween and then I will add to the existing decorations and put out the Halloween stuff and then I will probably take the Halloween stuff down as soon as Halloween's over, so either the weekend after or the day after. And then from there it is Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. I'm excited. There is more than I thought, so I don't know if any of you watched my haul video, my autumn decor haul. I went to, I think I went to the range and I went to Home Sense and I picked up a few autumn bits. I haven't been shopping since, but I'm kind of glad that I haven't because I'm looking at my collection so far and I'm thinking that's a lot. So I don't think I need to add anything more. If I do, then I will obviously do so. But I thought I'd quickly show you, now this might be in multiple parts. So you might see that this is, depending on how long this takes me, this is part one um but that depends you will see that when it happens but i thought first i'm going to show you some of the things that i do have especially some of the stuff that you guys haven't seen yet stuff from previous years maybe from like the old flat and all that sort of thing um and i'm just going to run through it and show you guys and then we'll kind of decide where we're going to put the stuff that i've got and all that jazz so i'm going to move my foot out of the way I still haven't put my work bag away because I'm lazy. And the first thing we're gonna run through is this box here. Everything smells of pumpkin spice as well, which is fantastic. I love when I open these boxes and just get that whiff of pumpkin, it's so nice. So I've got a few things in here. I've got these bats that I got from Flying Tiger. I got these last year, but I didn't end up using them because my plan was to use them, like I said, before Halloween and then have Halloween decor out, but we moved pretty much as soon as Halloween was over, so like the day after. So I bought these, opened them, never used them. So I'm definitely using them this year in the new flat. I'm out of breath already, so apologies. But another thing that I have is this really cute ghost stack that I think I got from HomeSense. I'm not gonna know because the label isn't on it anymore but it doesn't say next or anything so I think this was home since last year and I love this I think this is going to be more of a Halloween thing because it's got the boo at the bottom but I feel like this could also be autumn it's not in your face so that's going to be a maybe I think this one but I've got loads of other stuff from next a couple of years ago I also got this really cute sign that says hello pumpkin it's still got the tag on it and it cost five pound at the time but yeah it's really really cute sign i've got two sets of these they're lights they flash or they just hold on like that i don't know where i put them i think i might put them around the headboard of our bed just to bring some autumn into the bedroom just to bring some color in here because it is a lot of blacks whites and grays in here which i love but for those times of years it's nice to kind of bring a pop of colour to it. Now one thing I do want to recommend to anyone who is watching this for inspiration for decor is I highly recommend going and having a look on a website called Pretty Little Home and I got these two years ago I think and they have some incredible seasonal decor but I got a set, a set of two 
ceramic pumpkins, a larger ceramic pumpkin, which is the same colour. And I also got this bowl, which is a glass pumpkin bowl. And I absolutely love it. And it's great for putting Halloween treats in. Oh, but look at that, how cute that is. And they do different sizes and different shapes as well. So it's not just this one, they do loads of them. But I absolutely love it and it almost looks like crystal as well. So, so cool. And what I like to do is just put Halloween sweets in there, which is really cool. And any other sort of sweet treats that I've got hanging around that I'll put in here just as a nice little decorative piece. A few other things that I've got. Oh my God, this must be the candles because I it smells fantastic. I can't wait to light my first autumn candle. So I got these last year, these Yankee Candle Pumpkin Harvest. They're wax melts, love them. I bought so many packets of these last year. Oh my God, they smell of autumn. Oh, this excites me so much. Has anyone had a PLT from Starbucks yet? It's not officially on the menu, but if you're a member, then you can order this item off the menu. And you just literally go in there and ask for a pumpkin spice latte and they will do it for you. And oh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. So yeah, this really takes me there. It puts me in that spot, you know. I also got these from, I think these were also Home Sense last year. These tiny little woven pumpkins. They look more orange on camera, but I promise you they are not far from my hair colour. But on camera, they look very bright. These are really cute. I put them last year just below our TV on our TV stand. So I might do the same with them this year or maybe put them in another room because I have an extra room to decorate this time around. Obviously this is a new flat, so I've got new space. I've also got some mugs and things too. My favorite mug, which is from Next actually, I got a couple of years ago, I believe two or three years ago, but this is my favorite one that they have. And it says hello pumpkin around the rim at the top and it's just got those pumpkins all the way around that is my favorite one and it's a great size as well which is perfect because i want a big coffee i don't want a tiny coffee i'm not about this small coffee life i need a big big cup that i can hold so these are great absolutely love that i have so many mugs so i've got two of these mugs which I got from HomeSense and I just loved the colour. I really, really, really love the colour of this because it's different. And that's what I like about it. It's not your typical sort of in-your-face orange. It's a different sort of colour, but I love green anyway. Khaki green in particular is just such a wonderful colour. So this was one that I definitely bought. I think I bought this two years ago and it's still in use. I mean, I own so many candles and I don't use them as much as I wish I did that they last me years and years. This one is a DW Home apple cider, apple caramel cider one. And look how cute the front of that is. So it's giving very farmhouse, very autumn. And it's got really cute top. And look, I've only used it a little bit, but it smells fantastic. It's just your typical pumpkin patch smell. Absolutely amazing, I love that. It's quite sweet as well, but not too in your face got this white candle which is autumn botanicals don't know if you can see that if it will focus this one smells almost like aftershave fresh woodland like cedar wood aftershave amazing I wish I could smell like this but I haven't used it so it says eucalyptus spearmint and sage oh it's so nice fresh that would be a great one for in the kitchen because it's not too overpowering I feel like you don't want a candle or a smell a fragrance in the kitchen where it's going to be so overpowering that it's kind of not getting in your food but do you know what I mean I feel like a, a space where you're going to have loads of food out in the open I want I don't really want pumpkin spice scent to be you know everywhere so yeah that one's probably one I pop in the kitchen I can't believe I've never used it. I think because last year when I started buying things for autumn, we didn't know that we had to move. So I bought some of these things and then we knew that we had to move so I didn't end up using them. So I'm glad that these things are still gonna have their time to shine, if you know what I mean. Oh, I got this and there's a story behind this that you guys might like. So my partner got this for me online. I think he got it off 
I think he might have got it from eBay or like a secondhand seller anyway. I don't know which site he got it from. But I got a similar one for myself, which was a tiny bit bigger than this, from HomeSense two years ago. And it was my favorite thing that I had, my favorite autumn thing. This was in our old flat and I had gone to bed and I was, you know, laying in bed trying to get to sleep and I hear this almighty crash from our living room and I plodded along in to see what's going on and the other one was on the floor smashed up into pieces and my partner was just standing over it like it was a crime scene it, it was tragic and I was so upset so my partner bought me one to replace it which was very sweet of him and I actually prefer this one because it's a little bit smaller and it smells so just a few more things now that I want to show you guys before I kind of get cracking, crack a lacking, because like I say, it might be a few videos, I don't know. And especially because I'm going to do Halloween separately, you'll get another video for the Halloween stuff. So it's going to be autumn overload. You're going to get so much autumn stuff. So I hope you guys love it. If you don't, I'm sorry. That's all I can say. Anyway, we've got a cinnamon pumpkin one i love absolutely love the detail on this and the lid is just i want to be this i want to be this like how can i be this do you know what i mean i, I love that i've only used it a tiny bit as you can see but it smells nice it's like a subtle pumpkin with a sweet spice so that's nice but I've also got this mug as well, which is from the same collection as that green one that I just showed you. However, it's got that scalloped edge instead, which I love the, the change in the shapes. I think that's so lovely. And I love that this one's got that chrome effect as well. So I've got that one to try and go with each other because if I've got people over, I want them to also have a nice seasonal mug. So I've got that too. Now I just want to show you some of the bigger items that I've got first and obviously we'll run through those. I have, like I was saying, I've got quite a few sort of pillowcases that I can scatter around. So I've got some oranges, some sort of beiges, those kind of really lovely colours. I've also got two of these really lovely cushions that I also put out last year. I don't know if I will again. I also got this from HomeSense last year, which I love. It's from the Sweet Street range, and it's this huge leaf. Is it like a maple leaf, I think? Huge maple leaf, and it's green, so it's really nice color, khaki color, and it's quite firm as well, so you can actually use this for your back, rather than, you know, some of the pumpkin cushions you can't really use, because they're just round. But yeah i really really like that so obviously that's gonna go out somewhere i got this last year and i never used it for its intended purpose because i never needed to but it's not just a cushion it actually has those beans those little beans that you can put in the microwave and heat up so that's in there so you can take it out and pop it in and it can be like a cozy like a hot cozy type thing but i really love this I think it is really really cute little pot with a pumpkin lid as well that i got from home since last year i don't know if they have anything similar but this will go out and it will probably have keys or something like that in it just to be out on the side and and hide those sorts of things but i think that will look really nice out on display oh this is exciting so for a while i never used to have a autumn slash halloween wreath because i could never find one that i really liked and they were all either way too halloweeny or you know they i just never really liked them but last year i picked this up and it was a crime really that i didn't get to use it that much but i picked this up and i think i got it from home sense as well you know but i can't really remember I don't have the best of memories. But that is the wreath that I got. That I plan on putting on our door. I don't know when I'll put it on our door because I don't want people to come to the door and think I'm a crazy woman for decorating for autumn when it's 
still August. It's nearly September though. It's September in a few days, so that's my excuse, but still, people go look at that and think I'm crazy. I have loads of things that I'm gonna put out for August. For August? For autumn. And I'm so excited to get these out. So like I say, I don't know whether this video is gonna be in different parts, because I don't know how long it will take. I hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy the process with me. And we'll also do another video when I put out the Halloween bits as well. Because obviously I won't put out all of this. Most of it is just autumn. And yeah, we'll see how we go. Closing up shop, closing up my store I know this city doesn't need me no more And I know it ain't no mystery I'm going on back to bed, come Back is broke, my head is numb This new generation's making me feel old and dumb The road is dark but I can't see I know I'm getting close to bed City was killing me now, I know And it was hurting, it was taking its toll I'll take my body, but I'll never take my soul I'll take my body, but I'll never take my soul Take my body, but I'll never take my soul And I will walk till I fall to my knees Until my heart stops Until it starts to bleed My heart will always be in bed country My heart will always be in bed City was killing me now, I know And it was hurting, it was taking its toll I'll take my body, but I'll never take my soul I'll take my body, but I'll never take my soul Take my body, but I'll never take my soul
hearts of stone turn into hearts of gold, all of their bleeding turns into healing. Hearts that break turn into hearts of praise, all of their searching. Leads to eternity Back to your arms The place I call home Back to your voice That calls me your own Back to your path The one where I won't walk alone Back to the mercy you've always shown back to your side who sits on the throne back to your love that cuts to the core of my bones I won't stop returning to home today's video i hope you have enjoyed watching me decorate for autumn make sure to catch part two of my decorate for autumn with me which should hopefully be out next week for you and i will include the rest of my decorations in that video i hope you guys have a wonderful week and a wonderful rest of your day oh and make sure also follow me on all of my social media which is below as well and as always i'll catch you in the next video 